Wide receiver Stefan Diggs has wanted out of the Buffalo Bills for years. Does it matter? Does it matter? How I feel. What changes will be made or what, what could happen if I did feel away? Nothing. Nothing. And now he finally got his wish. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's like, are we going towards an ending here? You know, when you hear a lot of rumors and such, uh, where there's smoke, there's fire usually. What were the signs we should have seen all along? Let's dig into Stefan Diggs' dirty laundry with the Buffalo Bills. Minnesota Vikings fans tried to warn Bills fans about the drama that Stefan Diggs can bring to a football team. In 2019, while rocking with Kirk Cousins and the Vikings, he was frustrated with the organization and there were rumors that he wanted out of Minnesota as quickly as possible. There's been speculation and stuff that you might want to be traded. Do you want to be traded? Along with rumors and all that? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I, feel, like, uh, I feel like there's truth to all rumors, no matter how you dress it up. So you do want to be traded? I did. I said that. Well, you said, I said that there's, I said truth. there's truth to all rumors. And what I mean by that, if you want to win it, you're not winning. Of course, you'll be frustrated. That's my answer. Yeah. He literally said there's truth to all trade rumors, but that doesn't mean that I want to be traded. Diggs had just signed a five-year contract with the Vikings, so they would take a massive dead cap hit when he was eventually traded to the Buffalo Bills prior to the 2020 season. Diggs had a cryptic message on social media. People don't appreciate things until they're gone. This was him throwing shade at the Vikings, and this trend of sending a little message through Twitter would continue as well in Buffalo. While in Buffalo, Diggs finally admitted that he wanted out of Minnesota. But up to me wanting to leave and wanting to go to another place, I was a, I was a great teammate. You know, it wasn't until I wanted to, uh, you know, do something else is when I became a bad teammate. Things are going good, you know, it's all good until it's not good. As far as like my new chapter with my new team, things are going pretty good, trying to keep it that way. Things are going pretty good, trying to keep it that way. It would later turn out that he did not keep it that way. Quarterback Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs would be a dominant duo as soon as he landed in Buffalo with dramatic finishes to several games. The two of them looked like they had a deep bond. I'm him. I'm him. My next spot was my last spot. I wanted it to be my home and I didn't want to ever go anywhere. Um, Bills Mafia, I'm not leaving. Josh Allen looked like a completely different quarterback with Stephon Diggs, and Diggs reached some of the highest highs of his career with Josh Allen's assistance. And Diggs would credit the quarterback. Him throwing me the ball and shit like that. Like I owe him a lot of credit to my success. He kind of like changed my career to the point where I wanted to be. I wanted to blossom and I wanted to turn into one of the top receivers in the league. But then over time, we started seeing frustration from Stephon Diggs on the sideline, and people would make excuses as to why he was behaving this way, but we now know exactly why. Diggs not only flipped out on the sideline, but flipped out on the fans. But the passion is part of the reason why people love Stefan Diggs and the head coach of the Buffalo Bills, Sean McDermott, regularly consoled Stefan Diggs and dealt with some of the emotions that he would have during the game when things did not go his way. During the playoffs of the 2022 season would be the moment when everyone knew there were problems with Diggs and Buffalo. After falling to the Cincinnati Bengals in the playoffs, Stefan Diggs would motion to Josh Allen on the sideline. He looked frustrated, flailing his arms in the air, and Josh Allen really did not seem like he even acknowledged the guy while he seemed heated. Social media would criticize the frustrated Stefan Diggs, and Diggs would respond to the criticism on Twitter saying, want me to be okay with our level of play when it's not up to the standard? Nah. He made multiple tweets saying, want me to be okay with losing? Nah. It's easy to criticize my reaction more than the result. Stefan Diggs did not fear criticism criticizing the Buffalo Bills organization and quarterback Josh Allen all the way back in January of 2023. Perhaps people were just frustrated. It sucks losing the playoffs, but no, the drama would continue into the summer. Stefan Diggs would not attend mandatory minicamp in June of 2023, and Josh Allen tried to downplay this while head coach Sean McDermott seemed concerned. Is everything good with him and you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Steph's gonna Steph. I know he's not here right now, and I, you know, I wish he was here, but... Steph is not here. Everybody else is here at the current time. I'm concerned to you about 
Oh, very concerned. Yeah, very concerned. Steph, he's my guy. I, I excuse me, I fucking love him. I think that there were some some things that could have gone better last year um, and didn't. We, we wish he was in here today and was out there on the field with us, and that's that's not the case. But what was so weird is that Diggs' agent gave conflicting reports, saying Diggs was actually at minicamp, but then left right before practice started. And the Bills tried to downplay this as a personal issue and like there was no beef between the wide receiver and the organization. But Stefan Diggs, as everybody was talking about him not being at mandatory minicamp, he wrote on Instagram saying. I I just be letting people cap. If them lies help you sleep better, tell them big dog. Who is the big dog that Diggs is referring to? Is it Josh Allen? Is it head coach Sean McDermott? If minicamp wasn't the biggest warning sign to show us all that Diggs would no longer be a Buffalo Bill in 2024, well, Stephen A. Smith put the nail in the coffin. Brother wants out, by the way. I'm just telling you what I know. I got my own sources. Brother wants out. He don't want to be in Buffalo no more. He don't want to be. I I'm telling you right now. I have my sources. Stephon Diggs got to be there, but he he would prefer to be gone because he's lost a level of belief in the Buffalo Bill. That's right, I said it's Stephen A, baby. I'm not, I'm telling you what I know, okay? You, they, they can don't deny, they can tell you what I have my sources. I'm telling you what I know. It turned out Stephen A. Smith was right all along. Stefan Diggs had attitude problems with the Minnesota Vikings, and it seemed like this was carrying over to the Buffalo Bills. You even had a hot mic leak of a reporter talking about how Diggs treats people. It seemed like the Bills treated Stefan Diggs with kid gloves because they knew that he was a ticking time bomb that could blow up at any moment and blow up. He did. In November of 2023, the Bills would fall to Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos on primetime Monday Night Football. And this was a moment when the offensive coordinator, Ken Dorsey, was fired and replaced by Joe Brady after this disappointing performance. And we were able to see how Stefan Diggs feels about the organization via his brother. Diggs' brother, Trevon Diggs, is a defensive back for the Dallas Cowboys. And Trevon posted on social media after their L to Russell Wilson and the Broncos saying, man, 14 gotta get up out of there. 14 being the number of Stefan Diggs. And that would not be the only tweet Trevon Diggs would double down and say, let's not forget, he didn't start going off till bro got there. Who is he? He being Josh Allen, not going off till bro Stefan Diggs arrived in Buffalo. So not only do we have all these crazy rumors leading up to this November 2023 game, but you now have the brother of Stefan Diggs trashing the Buffalo Bills organization and disrespecting the franchise quarterback Josh Allen. Stefan Diggs was asked about these comments by his brother and he responded in the worst way possible. Like I like to gather my thoughts when I'm asked questions. Um, putting me in a position or me having a conversation with my brother that's outside, that's, that's in-house family rules. I can't combat or uh, answer all the questions as to why, you know what I'm saying, with people in the world and you know what I'm saying X, Y, Z, like that's something you're gonna have to ask my brother how he feels about it. If it was another fan or anybody else that commented on the game, y'all wouldn't have said that. It just happened to be that it's my brother, but he's not on this team, you know what I'm saying? He's, a, he's not a part of the Buffalo Bills. Am I coming from a place of love or however he feels? He's not a part of the Buffalo Bills. Diggs oftentimes tries to keep it real in press conferences, but when he's asked a direct question, he completely dodges just like he dodged when asked about his brother. But he did say something very real in this same press conference. When he was asked about how he felt about the offensive coordinator switch up, Diggs said something that revealed how helpless he felt and how much he really wanted off of the Buffalo Bills. I hate to ask a question when you okay. answer. Oh, that's fair. Does it matter? Does it matter? How I feel. I think it does, yeah. In what aspect? What changes will be made or what, what could happen if I did feel away? In nothing. My opinion. Nothing. Diggs appeared depressed after his brother made comments on social media. You saw Stefan Diggs' usage go down dramatically in a crucial Week 14 matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs, in which the Bills eventually won and Patrick Mahomes lost his mind due to this. Loudest fucking call I've ever seen, man. Offensive offsides in that moment, man. Fucking 
fucking terrible. Diggs only played 37% of the snaps. You had wide receiver Khalil Shakir and also Trent Sherfield get more snaps than the four-time pro bowler Stefan Diggs. The Bills tried to downplay this and say it's just a package situation, and you even had Stefan Diggs try to downplay this and say that the reason why his production declined is because he's getting double team. What was funny is you had the safety of the Chiefs, Justin Reed, respond to this and say, crazy part is, we didn't double team him. And that is why this was so odd. Diggs was not being double teamed, and he was literally just not on the football field during critical games down the stretch for the Buffalo Bills. Some people suggested maybe the Bills were trying to prove that they could win without Stefan Diggs, and maybe even prove that to Diggs himself. But you had a teammate of the Bills, a veteran cornerback Josh Norman, let something crucial slip towards the end of the season. Josh Norman said that Diggs is getting playing time, but he's just taking himself out. So it's not that he's not getting playing time, he chooses to do that. This is absolutely insane. To see a veteran cornerback basically call out the wide receiver and say, the reason why he's not playing is because he's taking himself out. The Buffalo Bills had a ticket to the playoffs and they had to get through the Kansas City Chiefs. And this was a moment when wide receiver Gabe Davis of the Bills was not going to be available, which meant that Stefan Diggs had to step up and be the dominant number one wide receiver that he can be. The Bills would lose by three points and Stefan Diggs would have a notorious drop. Long for Diggs. Oh, it went through his hands. They had an opportunity to land a 55-yard touchdown bomb, and Stefan Diggs blew it in that big moment. He motioned to Josh Allen that they were so close to making the play happen, and it just felt like Stefan Diggs had a nonchalant reaction to all the miscues in a critical playoff game. Bills fans did not handle this well. I'm speechless, bro. I got Lamar Jackson, and they're all heartbroken here in Buffalo. Little did these Bills fans know that there would be more heartbreak to come. After the season, in February of 2024, Stefan Diggs was interviewed by Kay Adams, and he would speak about the mortality of his time with the Buffalo Bills, and it felt like things were coming to an end. We don't know what the future holds. Yeah. I really can't tell you what is, what's going to happen or what's not going to happen. Do you want to be a Bill? Yeah, I mean, I've said that. I told him, um, you know, interview after interview, I wanted to retire Bill, but also that's not also predicated on me. You know what I'm saying I also uh, got to keep it in the forefront of my brain that business is business. The, the you and Josh Allen relationship, like, mm -hmm. how would you describe that? I mean, I still, that's still my brother. You know, I kind of get sentimental about it because he's still family at the end of the day, and uh, he's always going to be family no matter how it shakes. Oh, my gosh, I feel like it's like, are we going towards an ending here? What do you mean no matter how it You said it. You're freaking you're me. No, well, you're freaking me out a little I mean, bit. I guess I guess. You said you're getting like, se sentimental means you're like, yeah. Living in a goodbye moment. You know, when you hear a lot of rumors and such, uh, it's like, where did it come from? Yeah. You know where there's smoke, there's fire usually. It was clear that Stefan Diggs was somewhat saying goodbye in this moment. But what was odd is he tried to talk about the rumors as if they weren't coming from him and possibly coming from the Buffalo Bills camp, even though it's been very clear this entire time, over two years, that Stefan Diggs has wanted out of Buffalo, just like he wanted out of Minnesota. And that is why history would repeat itself for Stefan Diggs, signing a massive contract with the Vikings, then posting on social media. People don't appreciate things until they're gone. Fast forward four years later, still on a fat contract with the Buffalo Bills, and then posting something cryptic on social media right before being traded. Stefan Diggs, March 15th, 2024, saying ready for whatever. However, Stefan Diggs would lay the groundwork for a trade. Not only did he post ready for whatever, but he also cleared his social media of anything Bills related in March. Then 19 days later, long after free agency, bam, breaking news, Stefan Diggs has been officially traded to the Houston Texans, linking up with young rising quarterback CJ Stroud. Bills fans are going to have to bust out those tears yet again. The toxic behavior by the wide receiver was happening the night before he was traded. In the middle of the night, somebody said, does Josh benefit from having a top tier receiver? Yes. Is he essential to his success? 
no. And then Stefan Diggs replied to this saying, you sure? And literally, literally eight hours after he tweeted this, he was traded. What's even more insane about this is just like with the Minnesota Vikings, the Bills are going to have to take a massive dead money hit to get rid of Stefan. It is going to be a $31 million dead cap this year for the Bills, and it will be the highest known dead money charge for a wide receiver in any season of all time in NFL history. So how toxic was this relationship between Stefan and the Bills for them to be willing to eat this much in dead money rather than force him to stay? And now the Bills look to be heading in a downward direction. They no longer have Stefan Diggs. They lost tons of defensive players. And maybe there is something bad going on in Buffalo. You had Gabe Davis, the wide receiver who is now part of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was the number two guy behind Stefan, and he made this odd post as he left Buffalo. As he said goodbye, he posted all these stats. A notable stat that he posted is saying that he averaged 800 plus receiving yards, eight plus TDs, and 17 games per season, more than all these wide receivers from 2020 to 2023. And one of those wide receivers is Stefan Diggs. So clearly, Davis felt disrespected by the organization and maybe felt like they could have gotten more out of them, similar to Stefan Diggs. Meanwhile, the Houston Texans keep on killing it in free agency and they got an absolute steal. Stefan Diggs is only going to be $19 million towards the cap for them this year, still under contract for a few years, and they only gave up a second round pick in 2025. They didn't even have to give up a second round pick this year and what is so ironic is the second round pick that the texans gave to the bills was a second round pick that they grabbed from none other than the minnesota vikings they did this trade earlier this year the vikings wanted an extra first round pick in 2024 and it looks like the vikings helped the texans get stefan diggs their former wide receiver from buffalo you can't make this stuff up will the bills be better without stefan diggs or will josh Allen go downhill and will Diggs be laughing in the AFC with quarterback CJ Stroud proving to everybody that Buffalo was holding him back let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below subscribe to me Wi-Fi Willie for more NFL content we're getting it out as much as we can peace out and I hope you have a good one